Castle. Dory Ford is sort of the literary and narrative branch of Tree Ford overall. We bring narrative, we bring voices to the festival that might not necessarily get celebrated all, all the time at a music festival, and so we bring fiction writers, poets, memoirists. One of our goals, too, is to offer our events as free and open to the public. So we have a couple of ticketed events, but they're free tickets with suggested donations. So at this point, over the six years, we've been able to stay free and open with the support of Boise State and other great sponsors. I did my, um, my Master of Fine Arts, um, pushing it 20 years ago now, started in 2000, finished in 2003. Um, so I did my graduate degree there, and after that, um, taught in the English department and the creative writing department. Um, for a number of years. I worked at Tree Fort for the first couple of years just as far as uh, kind of doing some food truck stuff actually and saw some of the other forts happening, um, Yoga Fort, Ale Fort, etc. And so I approached Eric Gilbert about possibly wanting to start something, you know, in the story realm. So we kind of teamed up and got a little group together that kind of started it. It was something I wanted to do to get you know, be more active in bringing, you know, some arts to the community and, you know, having connections with other artists and writers. I, I thought it would be cool, and I am kind of a gregarious social person, so I kind of took to a lot of it naturally. People should check out Story 4 2019 because it's exciting, it's cool, it's actually, in my opinion, not like your everyday, you know, sort of literary event. It's part of this larger festival that's super vibrant, and so I think the entirety of our programming kind of collects that and kind of displays that sort of uh, overall energy. And so it's super fun, it's free, it's open, and hear some voices that you might not hear otherwise.